SEDC, home of the Working Stiffs Everyday Carry. And uh, I got something a little bit different for, for me here. Uh, this actually, I was doing some swapping and a fella offered it up. And uh, I was like, man, I ain't, ain't had any of them uh, two sun knives. And this is definitely, I think you can catch these different places. I mean, all over. White Mountain's got them. This is like a $60 or $70 knife. So I did carry it on the second hand. Their packaging is not, a, you know, over the top or this one isn't. But this is D2 steel on titanium. And this one is, I mean, it's a looker. It, it's anode up. A uh, lot of texture in it. Uh, milling. And for under a hundred bucks, man, it seems like it is definitely uh, a good piece. Uh, let me do the the flick, soak it in. It's got that neat, odd-looking blade shape there. D two uh, overall length seven point eight seven inches. Closed. It's a little bit over four four point four one. Blade length three and a half inches. Plain edge. Uh, black titanium. There's a lot of different colors you can find. This uh, it's the TS one seventeen. Uh, I've seen it in black titanium, uh, the raw, and then I guess this is the uh, the anode up. Comes in at like four point three seven ounces, and it's a a night morning design. And you can find those markings on it. Uh, man, this thing is... Uh, I don't think the, the fellow who had it either, he, he carried it much. Uh, it's still pretty sharp. I could probably use a little bit of a, a sharpening. It's going to be a little bit of work to sharpen it with the way that blade lays out. You're just going to have to be careful to sharpen this and then sharpen that. But it's definitely a looker. If you're uh, in the market for something uh, <clears throat> pocket jewelry wise and you don't have big money, these fit the, this definitely fits the uh, bill. No lanyard hole. Uh, it doesn't look like it's reversible. So the lefty's going to be out of luck on that carry to, to flip it over to the other pocket. The flipper action is, one thing that kind of get me is, is it's easy to get into that lock bar on this one. You, you've got to hold it a certain way to, to get good solid. But once you're holding it right, you're not pushing on that lock bar. So, I mean, it's got a good slicey, just killer opening. And I mean, she drops down. It's definitely a good solid feeling knife. Feels good in the hand with the titanium. And that, the, the jimping on that, no jimping on top of the blade. I don't think this is really going to be a hard worker. The blade looks like it's capable of it. But most of these are not going to get, they're not going to get hammered on. Uh, but it's definitely, I've carried it and it's definitely a looker. People want to look at it. They, they like the Anno, I do. The back spacer on it. Kind of sets it off no lanyard hole. Uh, it'd have been nice on this one. The lanyard probably look good on it. Good, good big pivot. So I mean, it can take a little bit of a hit. They didn't go overboard with the hardware. Pretty simple. One back here. You've got your two, your lock bar screw, your pocket clip. It's got a little bit of of that. And I, I've gotten it a couple times. Somebody with a smaller hand might be able to get it. 
Almost there. Almost. One more time. One more time just to keep y'all entertained. Nope. No. Not gonna. So, I mean, it can be reverse flick, but the flipper usually gets it good and solid. Introduction to two sons. I'll probably try to pick a couple more of these up, but uh, for the whole market of something that looks aesthetic and it doesn't have the, the premium steels in it. They have models that go on up there, but the D2 is going to be a good solid. And that's it's going to be a good carry for somebody. I mean, it, it, it's a good solid looking knife, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting a hold of some more two sons in the future. And this night morning design, uh, I dig it pretty good. And you can pick these up over at White Mountain. You put the code in. This is probably going to be under 50 bucks. And if you were looking, I, I I would say I probably if you were looking for something to to try to figure out and get into the home anno, two sons gonna be your bet. Y'all, remember like, subscribe, drop a comment. I'll keep them coming as they move in and out. This one. Play with it a little bit more. It's probably going to the uh, the trade pile or the giveaway pile. Not sure yet. But uh, y'all, stay sharp. Stay safe.